Identifying a sleep disorder in a child can be tricky business. There are no clear-cut rules regarding sleep or a clear meter to determine if symptoms like behavioral outbursts are linked to poor sleep. Let's take a look at what causes common sleep problems and how to spot the symptoms. What are common sleep disorders in kids? You may think that sleep problems in children only refer to not getting enough sleep, but most common sleep problems can actually be split into three categories, namely, one, insomnia, lack of sleep, two, parasomnia, insufficient sleep, or three, hypersomnia, too much sleep. Together, these disorders affect over one-fourth of children, and rates are triple that in kids who have neurological diseases. Why do sleep disorders occur? Atypical or disturbed sleep can be due to genetics, but there are also other factors that can lead to poor sleep, like one, excessive sleep anxiety, two, too much sugar or caffeine, or three, inconsistent boundaries and rules regarding sleep. I spy with my little eye. Symptoms. Parents should observe their child's behavior before and during sleep, at the time of waking, and during the day. With insomnia, children tend to have trouble falling asleep, staying asleep, or waking up too early. Sleeplessness can domino into daytime issues such as being sleepy, moody, volatile, or having learning problems. With hypersomnia, children can have excessive sleepiness, sleep paralysis, and sleep hallucinations. Finally, with parasomnia, kids can have disturbed sleep with signs of confusion or disorientation when waking up. They can also have hyperventilation and tachycardia or increased pulse during an episode. Sleepwalking is one of the most well-known type of parasomnia. Now, you might think that those are way too many bad things all at once, but don't fear. There's good news. Sit tight, because we're going to visit topics like sleep hygiene, diagnosis, and treatment. The ABCs of sleepy time. If there isn't an underlying disorder, some sleep issues can resolve independently. The most effective approach to manage sleep disorders is to maintain healthy sleep hygiene practices. It's like setting the mood for sleep. This is true for adults, too. We need to prepare ourselves for sleep, and children do as well. Try to establish a relaxing nighttime routine hours before bed that consists of a warm bath, a light snack, and story time for younger kids. Also, limit your child's time on electronic devices. Make sure to have set sleep and wake times for your mini-me and keep the bedroom dark. Okay, a small nightlight is fine. And at even temperature without lots of noise or stimulation. What does diagnosis look like? If sleep issues are still an issue and become chronic, it may be time to see a doctor for further help. Some of a doctor's best tools will be questionnaires to help assess sleep patterns. Another great tool for diagnosis is a sleep diary that's used to record sleep data that you fill out for your little one every morning. Doctors can also use a polysomnography to monitor sleep phases and pinpoint when sleep is disturbed. An effective first-line therapy for children with sleep issues is cognitive behavioral therapy. However, your doctor will be able to guide you further on what steps to take. Just a quick reminder, Early detection and effective treatment of sleep problems in children will support neurological and physical development and reduce the emotional stress on the family. Be sure to consult with your child's pediatrician if you see any abnormal sleep patterns or behavior. Help is available.